let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration we are going to choose let's say one minute like this and background color we will choose white color and simply hit ok and hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on this title section press ctrl n to create another composition and we will call it as m now go to the width option and let's choose width 800 height 800 and this portion should be like this only and simply hit ok now after that go to the uh, shape options and we are going to choose rounded rectangle we will delete this stroke we don't need the stroke then we will go to the fill option and we are going to choose black color for this and simply hit ok and double click to create this kind of rectangle now resolution let's choose full go to the rectangle go to the rectangle path and let's uh, increase the roundness up to 100 like this then size over here let's decrease the size somewhere around like this okay now let's minimize this now select this layer hit enter and let's call it as rectangle and over here go inside this and create one keyframe at size like this select this press p for position create one keyframe now select this and hit u zoom in a little bit let's go to around one second over here create another keyframe and uh, let's make this size 700 like this or let's say 750 like this go to the start and let's make this size 50 like this okay now select those keyframes and hit f9 so we will get something like this okay now i'm going to select my text tool and i'm going to choose uh, let's say poppins font I'm going to choose Poppins semi bold version and type M. Let's select this and let's choose see what we will choose light version. Let's say select this, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it like this. Now uh, let's go to the character menu and instead of light, let's choose thinner version of this font like this now select this press ctrl alt home like this go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now let's do one thing we will make the scale 100 only and select this go to the character option and we will increase the font size like this okay yeah this looks good so font size we are going to choose 700 now select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now go to the start select this m press p create one keyframe go over here create another keyframe go to the start and we will bring this downwards and select those keyframe and hit f9 so we will get something like this okay now go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we will move one handle over here and then we will move one handle over here so if you see we will get something like this let's do one thing select this let's move this a little bit over here if you are not getting this kind of graph simply right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph by default sometimes you are in edit value graph which looks like this so we need to choose edit speed graph and then adjust this graph like this so we will get this kind of stuff and let's move this a little bit over here like this or let's say over here okay then take a gap of few seconds like go around two seconds over here now select this rectangle press p for position create one keyframe go to around three seconds and uh, we will move this rectangle out of this composition like this okay now select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph now we will select this rectangle we will hit ctrl d we will hit uh, u and we will move this rectangle over here and we will delete all of this keyframe okay now this is our rectangle too just for the sake of knowing i'm going to change the color of this one to yellow 
then go to around 3 second over here now select this rectangle and make it apparent with this rectangle now select this delete this initial position keyframe select those position keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we'll move one handle over here and one handle over here so if you see we are getting this kind of animation okay like this now i'm going to select this rectangle hit ctrl d to duplicate change the color of this one to aqua or something select this hit enter and let's call it as mask after that select this rectangle uh, this mask rectangle hit u and make sure that you are at this point over here and uh, i mean around two second and then delete those keyframes then now select this rectangle hit f4 and choose alpha mask so we are getting this kind of stuff like this okay now select this m uh, create one keyframe at position go to around three second and we will bring this up to this okay not totally upwards but somewhere around over here select those keyframe and hit f9 and over here go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here a little bit and move one handle over here like this so if you see we are getting this kind of stuff and now select this rectangle layer hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top select this m and choose alpha mask okay like this so we are gonna get this kind of stuff now over here hit u hit n over here right click trim com to work area like this then go to the main animation and bring our m over here now go inside this m press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this white background over here okay at the back and lock this just for me drop this one off. now go to the main animation hit ctrl k to open the project settings and i'm going to change the color of this one to more red one now select this go somewhere around over here at the last and over here right click and go to the time and choose time enable remapping and uh, before this keyframe i'm going to create another keyframe and i'll delete this keyframe I'll click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it okay and then increase the duration of this comp so if you see now we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop now press s for scaling option and let's make this scale around 50 or let's say 40 okay and let's bring this over here and enable the snapping select this m hit ctrl d and let's move this over here we are creating duplicate by hitting ctrl d m o t i o n select all of them and let's adjust this over here at the center now select this m and hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as o go inside this select this text and change this text to o ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as t double click let's call it as t hit ctrl d i go inside this and let's call it as i o we already have so select this hit enter and let's call it as n double click to open this and let's call it as n and now we just need to replace it so select this select this o by holding alt replace it select this replace it select this by holding alt replace it select this by holding alt replace it select this and by holding alt replace it okay so if you see we will get this kind of animation now 
so we are going to take a distance of let's say 5 frame or 10 frames maybe let's take a 20 frames let's take a 10 frames distance and let's see how does it looks we are getting this kind of animation okay or let's take a distance of 8 frames or let's say 5 frames okay so we are getting this kind of animations now let's go over here hit ctrl a to select all of them hold alt open square bracket and move this over here go to the start and let's move this over here so if you see we are getting this kind of animation now press uh, ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this at backward like this go to the m and let's uh, delete this white background in each and every comp so uh, if you see we are getting this kind of animation now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as motion and hit ok select this hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top hit ctrl d let's bring this over here okay now again uh, let's take a distance of 20 frames select this move this over here select this move this over here or i think we need to adjust them in properly line wise so this one should be first uh, and this one should be over here so now uh, let's move this over here go to 20 frame move this over here like this so now they are line wise select this all of them press alt open square bracket to trim this up to this go to the start and move this over here now if you go to c and in any alphabet the three is our last uh, option point so now this animation is going to be in the form of loop at three seconds so if i hit n over here as you guys can see this animation is in the form of loop okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go somewhere around three plus three which is six so i'm gonna hit n over here like this now after that uh right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and i'm going to apply for tint effect double click to apply and we will swap this color press s unlink this and let's make it like this press r for rotation let's rotate it like this press s and let's increase the scale like this now select this press p for position let's bring this over here create one keyframe at position go to around six second let's move this from here to out of this composition like this okay now right click new and create one adjustment layer again and apply tint effect and swap this color then again go to the ellipse and create one shape layer to ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically then press f4 select this adjustment layer and choose alpha maps now go to the start select this shape layer press s initial scale should be zero create one keyframe go to around three second and let's increase the size of this somewhere around like this okay so if you see this we are getting this kind of stuff then at three second over here we are going to select this adjustment layer and this adjustment layer i mean shape layer hit ctrl d and uh, with the help of open square bracket simply move them over here like this so now we are going to get this animation continuously in the form of loop so this is how you can create this kind of animation inside of after effects like this